of our shop. This is Blaze the Movie Fan. And back in 2011, I made a countdown of my favorite Christmas movies, as well as the two worst ones. Looking back at it, there are some things that I regret. It's mainly the fact that it should have been just a less video of favorite Christmas movies. There was no reason to make it a worst list too, since there are so fucking many bad Christmas movies out there. And I'm better off making a separate video. There are some movies on there which I loved back then but hate now and the other way around. But most of the movies on the list are movies that I love. But due to the fact that I'm much more qualified to do this now than I was back then, I decided to remake the video. Besides, listening to five movies isn't enough. I should instead make a full top 15 list in celebration of the great holiday. But before I dive in, there are five honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is Die Hard. It is my favorite movie out of the ones considered for the list and originally I was going to include it on the actual list. But the reason I didn't is because even though I fucking love this movie, and it is a Christmas movie, Neither Christmas or Santa Claus is the main subject of the movie. It's more about stopping dangerous terrorists. Movies that are more about Christmas belong on the list far more. The Grinch from 2018. I was gonna put it on the list, but I realized that there are Christmas movies which I love more. But I fucking love this movie and don't think it deserves the hate that it got. I will be making a video defending the movie next December, so look out for that. Bad Santa 2. For those of you who don't know, Bad Santa is the worst Christmas movie of all time in my opinion. Yeah, that is one opinion that hasn't changed since I made my original list. But I have to say, unlike the first Bad Santa movie, Bad Santa 2 is actually very fucking funny. Albert Saves Christmas. It is a weird movie, but hell of a fun. And lastly, my favorite adaptation of a Christmas carol, Scrooge from 1935. I was gonna put it on the list, but figured there are 15 movies about Christmas I love more. So anyway, without further ado, let's dive in. Number 15, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. This movie is basically about a guy who tries his best to make the best Christmas possible. He goes out of his way to have the best decorations, the best Christmas tree, the best meal, and so on. But no matter what he does, it all blows in his face. But you know what? That doesn't stop him. He doesn't give up. He keeps pushing until he gets the perfect Christmas. And that is honestly very admirable about him. And despite how much he screws up, the people who live with him don't get angry at him at all or anything like that. In fact, they are rooting for him to succeed. Although I don't find this movie funny, I still find it admirable how much this guy fucking cares about Christmas. Number 14, Home Alone 2 Lost in New York. Now this movie is at a bigger scale than the original one. That doesn't mean the movie is better. As a matter of fact, I will be talking about that later on in this video. But it's still a great movie. It's a very fucking funny movie. There are countless of scenes in this movie that make me laugh out loud. And yes, Kevin's family. And yes, Kevin's family are a bunch of cons who didn't learn anything from the first one. But I would argue that repeating the previous movie was pretty much necessary. The movie wouldn't be as fun as it is without it. And of course, Marv and Harry are as funny in this movie as they were in the original one. What else can I say? It's very fucking funny. The Santa Claus. Although most people think this is the best one out of the Santa Claus trilogy, I personally don't agree with that. There's one I like more, which I will be talking about later. But it doesn't take away that I think that this movie is beyond fucking awesome. Basically some guy accidentally kills Santa Claus and becomes the new Santa Claus. That is a pretty weird concept, but very creative at the same time. And it works. So the guy has to deal with all the struggles of being Santa Claus. And let me tell you, it's not fucking easy at all. Not anyone can become Santa Claus and be good at it. This movie proves it. It takes a lot of fucking responsibilities. I am willing to admit though that this movie is also creepy. Becoming fat out of the blue and having a white beard that will magically grow back every time you shave it. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that is very fucking disturbing. But I still think that this is a charming, great movie. Number 12, Miracle of 34th Street. 
from 1947. I hate having to make that clarification when talking about the original movies rather than the remakes. Anyway, this is a movie about Santa Claus in the real world. A guy in the real world thinks that he is Santa Claus. And to be fair, I fucking believe so too. Because he has a white beard, he's very old. He's very nice, he's very generous. He cares a lot about the children. The guy in this movie is fucking Santa Claus if he existed in the real world. Sure, he has no reindeer or elves working for him on the North Pole. But he still has the generosity of Santa Claus, as well as being as nice as him, which is beyond fucking awesome. Number 11. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Some people say that this is both a movie to watch on Halloween and Christmas. I strongly disagree with those people. I think that this is purely a Christmas movie. I would never watch it on Halloween, so it's not scary. With that being said, I fucking love how charming this movie is. There are a lot of creatures that are supposed to look scary or disturbing, but they don't. They look very fucking cute. And that works in this movie's favor, so they have good intentions. But I love about this movie the most is that Jack Skellington fucking loves Christmas and wants to bring joy to Halloween Town. What is there not to admire about this movie? Number 10. Jingle all the way. I can't think of any movie with a more dedicated father than this movie. Howard promised to buy a doll before Christmas, but he forgot and on Christmas Eve he drives all around the fucking country in order to get the doll for his son. He did screw up big time by not buying it when he promised he would buy it, but he still tries to make up for it and that's what's so admirable about him. And the comedy in this movie is also absolutely ridiculous. And I love that because that makes this movie funny as hell. He goes out of his way to get the doll that he wants. And he doesn't give up. And that's so fucking awesome. Number 9. Arthur Christmas. You know, this movie has an interesting concept. Instead of there being one Santa at the North Pole, Bang Santa Claus runs in the family. And once one Santa retires, the next one in line becomes the new Santa Claus. That's something that's never been done before. It's a creative and a very fucking awesome concept and it's executed so well. Anyway, Arthur realizes that one Christmas present is missing. So he goes out of his way to give the kid that fucking present and he wants to give that kid the present before Christmas is fucking over. And that is admirable for sure. He runs into many misadventures on the way, which of course makes the movie fun. Number 8. Elf. Basically, a human is raised at the North Pole, but one day wants to go to New York City to meet up with his father. What makes this movie work is that it's funny as all hell how he doesn't understand at all how human civilization works. And from the point of view of the people who live in New York City, he looks like a man-child. But I know he isn't. The reason he acts that way is because he was raised at the North fucking Pole all his life. And I gotta say, his inappropriate behavior is funny as all hell. Now some people might see his father as a complete asshole. I don't. He isn't a cunt at all. His behavior makes a lot of sense if you think about it. I mean, he is a normal businessman. So of course he wouldn't be okay with his son's behavior. Number 7. Fred Claus. You know, I feel sorry for Fred. I really do. He has a brother who is superior to him in every way. And because of that, he grows jealous of him. Which is totally understandable. All he wanted was to get some respect from his parents, but he never did. So he grew up into a grumpy man, which is understandable. But regardless, he still has a good heart and only wants to do the best things he can. And I respect that about him for sure. Now despite his grumpiness, Santa still respects him and wants to help him out, which is beyond fucking awesome. Oh, and this movie is also funny as all hell. Number 6. Home Alone. This movie is a Christmas classic. Basically, Kevin has a family that are being total cunts towards him, so he wishes that he was home alone. And his wish is fucking granted. Now, obviously, if this was a movie about an adult who is alone home, it wouldn't be anything special. Since most adults can handle that and they're alone home all the fucking time. But it's a fucking kid who is home alone. And Kevin is smarter than the average kid. Which is beyond fucking awesome. 
The movie is incredibly ridiculous, over the top, and I love it. Kevin is a fucking awesome kid, that goes without saying. Number 5, A Christmas Story. So this is basically a story taking place at Christmas from the perspective of a kid. Now normally I find narration to be completely unnecessary, but it's not in this case. I find the story very fucking interesting, and hearing a story about a kid's life from the perspective of himself as an adult is a unique concept and it works. Now you might think that a story about just a kid's life might be boring, but it's not. Despite being a story about just a normal fucking kid, it still manages to be very interesting, which is fucking awesome. Number 4, It's a Wonderful Life. This is unfortunately the kind of a movie which I can't properly describe without spoiling it. So there are gonna be some spoilers. But first, I will try to describe it without spoiling it before I get into the spoiler territory. Basically, it's about a man who is very depressed with his life. And the movie is basically about him dealing with that. That's unfortunately all I can say without spoiling the movie. So let's get into the spoiler territory. By the end of the movie, George Bailey wishes that he was never born. And realizes how fucking terrible of a mistake it was. I don't understand why he wished that. It seemed to me like he had a good life. But yeah, he realizes how big of a fucking mistake it was to wish to never be born. And when everything reverts back to normal, he starts appreciating his fucking life. Strangely enough, even though Christmas is the main topic of this movie, it still only feels right to watch this movie during Christmas. I don't know why that is, but that still is the fucking case, for me at least. Number 3, Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause. I will admit, there is one problem that I have with this movie. And that's the fact that it makes no sense that the elves are played by children. And this is a problem that I have with the first Santa Claus movie as well. I mean seriously, what the hell is off with that? In the other Christmas movies that have Santa Claus, the elves are played by grown as men. So it makes no sense. Ignoring that this movie is a classic. It's basically about Jack Frost who is jealous of Santa Claus, so he causes a lot of fucking chaos. I will admit, he is a great villain, and the main reason why this movie works so well. Oh, and the Santa Claus in this movie is also fucking awesome. Seeing the other mythological creatures appearing in this movie is great too. And it's full of funny moments. Number 2, a very Harold and Kumar Christmas. Basically, Kumar screws up a lot, and because of that, Harold and Kumar will go through a lot of misadventures. And like most movies on this list, this one is actually R-rated. And it takes full advantage of the R-rating by making the movie Funny as all hell. I could go on forever talking about iconic scenes, because this movie is full of them. I never get tired of watching this movie, it's fucking awesome. Number 1, Annabelle's Wish. You know, there's one thing that really pisses me off that I need to address. Nobody, aside from myself, ever talks about this movie. I'm serious, I'm subscribed to a lot of movie reviewers. And I don't hear this movie mentioned once. More people need to fucking see it, because it's truly a Christmas classic. So if you get the opportunity to watch it, take that fucking opportunity. This movie really deserves a lot more fame than it currently has. Basically, a mute kid gets a calf for a Christmas present, and he becomes a very good friend of that calf. Oh, and this movie also has a special rule. The animals can't talk, but only during Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I must admit, that is a very fucking creative concept. Now, of course, there is also the villain, Agnes, who is a massive cunt. That's all I will say about her. So what exactly is Annabelle's face? Well, you have to see the movie for yourself to find out. I'm not gonna spoil, but I assure you, it's fucking great. All the movies that I mentioned are movies that I will gladly watch every Christmas. They are two really fucking spectacular movies. I will also be making a video titled Top 15 Worst Christmas Movies next year, so look out for that. Thank you all for watching, and Merry Belated Christmas!